Tomorrow's Father's Day. I'm in the mood to bake a cake because, you know, any holiday's a party. Any holiday deserves a cake. Why not just have some fun and make one? I was looking throughout the YouTube world and this one specific video came up with amazing uh, advice on how to make an amazing box cake but then I noticed this beautiful lady commented below her name is Joyce Galloway Parker and she puts as a baker pastry and cake decorator for 40 plus years I can honestly say that I find that the right additions to box cake mixes do make them taste better than most bakery cakes. So, even professional bakery and bakers use these box cake mix. She had left some extra tips below in that comment and I'm gonna be sharing those tips in this video. My daughter's taking a nap in the living room, so we doing this in the room today. The box calls for one cup of water. You're gonna swap that out for one cup of milk. I am using almond milk because I'm allergic to dairy. We are gonna do a half cup of vegetable oil. You would just swap this oil out for like two sticks of butter. But instead, she recommends that you still add the oil and just add a stick or a half stick of butter to the mix because butter solidifies at room temperature which makes your cake a lot more dense. So what the oil and the butter do mixing together, they just complement each other by the oil still being a nice spongy texture at room temperature and you get the taste of the butter. We have three eggs here. You're gonna add two more eggs to the mix. So five eggs and we're going to add some vanilla extract and then of course some vanilla pudding she says when baking a box cake mix i find it's better to first blend all of the wet ingredients together then add the dry ones and then mix for the time specific specified on the box this helps ensure the eggs and other ingredients are well blended but without over mixing the dry ingredients because it's often over mixing the flour cake mix that can result in less desirable results. Just be sure to mix for the full amount of time instructed on the box after adding the dry ingredients, or that can also give you less desirable results. So there's just that little sweet spot of mixing. So in a large mixing bowl like this, we're gonna start to mix up all of our wet ingredients. So we'll do the egg, a half cup of vegetable oil, a cup of milk in place of the water, and we got melted butter, some vanilla extract. That should be good. Just gonna mix up all of our wet ingredients. So now that we have our wet ingredients mixed together, we're gonna add our dry ingredients. Mix up the dry ingredients. I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes and we're gonna start mixing at, by adding the dry into the wet ingredients. Alright, that should be good. Oh, look at that. Now we are in my kitchen. We're gonna take some Baker's Joy. I got two nine inch rounded pans and spray them down. Now we're going to pour our mixture into the pans. First we'll kind of like shake it up. Get everything nice and even. Now like go crisscross, horizontally, vertically. Ooh, in a circle. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. Place them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 22 minutes. Stick this, this toothpick thing into the cake to see if it's done. Wow, this looks pretty clean to me. So we're gonna turn off the oven. We're gonna get our cooling racks out. There's our cakes. They are cooling for about five minutes and then I'm gonna 
dump them onto the cooling rack and let them fully cool for probably a two hours or so before I even think about putting the frosting on. If you put frosting on hot cake that hasn't cooled, your frosting will melt all over your cake. I've done it before and it's a very stupid move, but you can live and you learn. Ready? That's cool, look at that, perfect. So there they are, two nine inch round cakes just chilling, chilling at the holiday, chilling at the oven top inn. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be making the chocolate frosting and these are the ingredients we're gonna need. Hershey's cocoa, vanilla extract, three sticks of butter and powdered sugar. My name is Rhea. We're also gonna need just a little bit of milk. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup and a half of butter, which would be three sticks of butter, and we're gonna cream that together first, mix that a little. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I want, I want, I want the bread. Three quarters of a cup of this. So you just get a spatula and you like scoop it in. You're gonna take powdered sugar and do a cup at a time. And you're gonna wanna strain your sugar so there's no clumps. Father's Day and we're about to finally try this cake. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Whoa, that's a thick papa. Well, we had it in the fridge, so it's Are you ready for this cake, homie? Yeah. Mommy, you don't put strawberries on Whoa. Nope, no strawberries. I guess I could have put more chocolate in the middle, right? The blue food coloring kind of made it look gross, but whatever. All right, let's do it. You're going to be the first taste tester, so Leah. Is it let good? Let me see you. Mm. Is it good? Well, wait, just taste it taste first. It, eat it, eat it. What do you think? Good. Uh, Better icing. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have let it sit out the... Mm. Is that some good? Mm -hmm. let, me get, let me get a little slip. Mm. It's good. Oh, yeah. We need coffee. Ham. No. This one with some coffee, babe. I'm point, man. Me too. We just need to leave it out so it's, it's room temperature. Hold it up. I don't know. COVID messed up my taste buds. That would be good flavor. Yeah, good flavor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the, the vibe of it. Bye. Bye. Say like the video. You like the video. And subscribe. subscribe. Sub say subscribe to my mommy's channel, please. Can you say that? Say it.